Earthquakes are rocking Europe and now scientists have found out that the core of the Earth is going crazy. That's right, the core of our planet, which we thought was solid and stable, is deforming. Is this the explanation for the unusual tectonic and volcanic situation of the time? Keyword Santorini and the Phlegraean Fields. Stay tuned until the end because today we're diving deep into the secrets of the planet. Welcome everyone. Imagine taking a journey to the center of the Earth. You pass through the Earth's crust, dive through the viscous mantle, and pass the liquid outer core. Right in the middle, about 5,150 kilometers below our feet, you finally reach the inner core. Until now, we thought that this area was a massive ball of solid ice and nickel, but new research shows the inner core is quite different from what we thought. And speaking of which, if you want to be immediately informed about such groundbreaking discoveries, then go ahead and subscribe right now. You stay up to date on all the exciting topics, subscribing costs nothing, and you help me immensely. Thanks guys! By the way, drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you're more interested in. The depths of our planet or the infinite space. But back to the heart of the matter, quite literally. A team of geophysicists led by John Vidal from the University of Southern California has made an amazing discovery. They analyzed seismic data from 121 earthquakes that occurred between 1991 and 2024 near the South Sandwich Islands, close to Antarctica. In doing so, they came across something unexpected. One set of seismic data stood out and initially caused me confusion, Vidali reports. What was so confusing about it? Well, the data showed deviations that could not be explained solely by the known rotation of the Earth's core. So there had to be something else going on. After a thorough analysis, the researchers came to a surprising conclusion. The edge of the inner core is deforming. The area near the surface of the inner core is undergoing structural changes, explains Vidal. In other words, the inner core of the Earth is softened at the edges and extends into the liquid outer core to varying degrees. And somehow the idea doesn't work. It's not too far-fetched to think that this strange behavior of the Earth's core could be related to the unusually high number of earthquakes we're currently seeing in Europe, right? As a reminder, thousands of earthquakes are shaking the Greek archipelago of Santorini. Etna is currently experiencing spectacular lava flows. The Campi Flegre have had their strongest quake since the beginning of the year, and Tede on Tenerife is also showing unusual activity. But let's take it one step at a time. You might be thinking, how can the researchers even know that, after all, we can't just drill down to the Earth's core and take a look. Well, at least not yet. Who knows what Elon Musk is planning next? But all jokes aside, scientists use seismic waves for their research. When an earthquake occurs, various types of waves propagate through the planet. Some of these waves pass through the Earth's core on their way. By analyzing the travel times and properties of these waves, researchers can then draw conclusions about the nature of the Earth's interior. It's a bit like taking a giant ultrasound of the planet. In this case, Vidal and his team compared data from two seismological stations in Alaska and northern Canada and found that the waves traveling around the edge of the inner core behave differently than expected. And this deviation could best be explained by a deformation of the outer layer of the inner core. But uh, what does that actually mean? Imagine the inner core of the Earth as a giant snowball. Until now, we thought the snowball was completely frozen. Now we see that the outer layer is a bit squishy. It deforms. And it changes its expansion over time. And this is a groundbreaking discovery. Because until now, geophysicists assumed that the inner core of the Earth is largely stable. Sure, we knew it rotates, sometimes faster, sometimes slower than the rest of the planet, but that it changes shape is new. What we have observed here for the first time is probably due to disturbances from the outer core. Explains Vidal, the liquid outer core is known for its turbulent currents. These turbulences could affect the surface of the inner core and lead to the observed deformations. Now you might be wondering, so what does that have to do with me? More than you think, the Earth's core plays a crucial role in many processes on the planet. It is responsible, for example, for the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from cosmic radiation. Changes in the core could have far-reaching consequences, including for the prediction of the development of the Earth's magnetic field in a so-called pole jump that will occur sometime in the future. And could it also have an impact on the tectonic situation, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions? We present a solution to a long-standing debate. There are both rotation-related and independent changes in the inner core, the research team writes. This insight could help us answer many previously unanswered questions, such as why the Earth's magnetic field has changed polarity in the past, or why the rotation of the inner core fluctuates. It literally opens a door to the planet's deepest secrets, allowing us to make the Earth's core our core competency. 
But all jokes aside, the scientist's discovery naturally raises new questions. For example, how exactly does the turbulence in the outer core influence the inner core? And what are the long-term effects of the deformations? Further research will be needed to answer these questions. Vidal and his team are already planning to continue their investigations and analyze even more seismic data. Perhaps this will help them to paint an even more accurate picture of what is happening deep inside the planet. One thing is clear. Our planet is much more dynamic than we previously thought. Even at its innermost core, thousands of kilometers below our feet, the Earth is in constant motion and change. It's fascinating to see how much we still have to learn about our home planet, isn't it? Vidal says this discovery opens a door to revealing previously hidden dynamics deep in the Earth's core and could lead to a better understanding of its thermal and magnetic fields. We may be at the beginning of a whole new era in exploring our planet. But what is the relationship between tectonic events like earthquakes and the processes in the Earth's core? Many of you have written to me and asked whether this development in the Earth's core could be the explanation for all the earthquakes happening right now. It is fair to say that these recent discoveries about the deformations of the Earth's inner core are revolutionizing our understanding of planetary dynamics. But there is no real evidence that these processes influence seismic activity, for example on Santorini. Earthquake swarms in this region are mainly caused by the interaction of the African and Eurasian plates, together with the Aegean microplate, and this leads to tensions in the Earth's crust. These tensions are released in the form of earthquakes. Processes in the Earth's core, like the recently observed deformations, usually do not affect the tectonic activities of the crust, because they are separated from the crust by the mantle. And there is really a huge distance in between the dynamics of the Earth's core do influence the Earth's magnetic field, but they probably do not have any direct influence on the movements of the tectonic plates, as far as we know. Of course, it is entirely possible that there are interactions between the different layers of the Earth's interior that we do not yet know about or simply do not understand. Feel free to write to me in the comments and tell me what you think. Do you think there is a connection to the Earth's core or do you think it's not possible? I'm very curious to know what you think. I will, of course, keep you updated on all further developments regarding the seismic situation. So make sure to subscribe to the channel now and turn on the bell so you don't miss anything. And now, let's head straight to one of the volcanoes that is currently causing unrest, the Campi Flegre. This supervolcano near Naples is a cause for great concern among residents and scientists because if it were to erupt, it would be a truly dramatic situation. And the situation in Santorini and Tenerife is also dramatic. Could all this ultimately have something to do with the Earth's magnetic field? You can find everything about this in the video displayed at the top right. At the bottom right, the algorithm has selected another topic for you that you might also be interested in. Every click helps the channel, otherwise I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.